What's going on, family? I pray everybody's doing well and having a wonderful, blessed day as we all talk. Good to most high Yahoo, all the honor, the glory, all praise and worship. Happy Sabbath to everybody. Hallelujah. The other day I spoke a little bit about frequencies, but I want to go a little bit deeper. Uh, and Elsha, let me give a shout out to you in this video because you were asked a good question in the email about headaches and migraines, uh, the type of music that you listen to. Very, very great question. That's why I want to come back to this. This is kind of like a part two. Um, you see my tired of frequencies. Why my head hurts so much? When I was coming up, I wish I would have known a lot of what I know now. You know how some, so many people will be um, stereo systems, loud. Um, or you could say in the band, my old man had a band. Or if you hear a band that's played real loud, or why is our ears so sensitive? And I just, like I said, I wish I, what I know now, I wish I would have known back then. Because even behind loud music or from a band, my ears are very sensitive, and I would get so many headaches. But a migraine goes, you know, we don't go a little bit deeper than the headache, man. When you got a migraine, oh, man, those are some terrible things there, man. And like I say, some people's ears are more sensitive than others. And that loud noise, yes, it can cause headaches. It does. It ain't just headaches. Uh, when you look at radio frequency, let me talk from a, a musician slash producer standpoint in his video radio frequency frequency um a lot of people even get dizzy behind it they can't concentrate it's almost like you high you, your focus is off and some people get from like nine to 13 migraines a month i have a little cousin that deals with that um never seen somebody get so many migraines but High frequency and low frequency both have they parts on how it messes us up, especially high frequency. Um, but low frequency, even a lot of doctors and scientists agree to say that that low frequency is why so many people are depressed and falling into anxiety. But they also say at the same time, low frequency will help you sleep better or uh, relaxation, you know. So, but then low frequency also they cause their cell cause mental sickness or illness. This is why I say, um, from a biblical standpoint, we have to realize what's demonic, what we listening to, what we watching, where we going. Um, all this stuff plays a part of. of of our body, whether we want to believe it or not. Um, some even say low frequency causes cancer, Alzheimer's, uh, Alzheimer's disease. You know, um, don't know how true that is, but so many different things because of the low frequency and the high frequency. But um, I did an old video. Well, I don't know if it's real old, but I talked about as a musician how we look at how instruments are tuned. 440 versus 432 HZ. And musicians, y'all know what I'm talking about. What is the organ tune that? Mm -hmm. And it's always a debate about which one is the better um, 440 or the 432. People debate and argue about that. But studies show that music at 440 reduces stress. Okay? Or music at 432 improves your sleep when you get on the elevator it's always relaxing music i've never gotten on the elevator went up or down and heard trap music <laughs> gangster rap hip-hop not in the not in any elevator i'm just saying in any elevator i went on and I'm, I'm getting you to my point because i talked about that travis scott video i talked about the the, the vibration i talked about low frequency i talked about high frequency, and what it does to the body. But when you look at a biblical sense of this, music is also like therapy. It is therapy. 
Because when you look at when you look at David playing for King Saul, the Bible shows you that those that music calm it calm King Saul down, calm him down. Uh, because according to the Bible, uh, music moves your spirit and your mind, and that's why music is so powerful. Go back to King Nebuchadnezzar, and that's why Satan loves music. He loves to flow through music, and that's why I say it's the evilness that comes behind the music, the spirit that comes behind the music, you know. Music is used for worship all the time, whether you look in the Old Covenant up to the day. You know, worship, it's, a, it's a form of worship also, and, and that's why nowadays you see many people put more music over the word. Because that's music is very powerful. Music oftentimes will say what words won't say. So according to, like I've been saying on here for years, according to what type of music you are listening to, oh yeah, you better realize it affects your body in more ways than you think. 808, those who were back in the day used to use the TR-808, you know what I'm talking about, drum machine. TR-808 bass. When you start talking about low bass notes and, and deepness, vibration, TR-808 is used a lot in hip-hop and trap music. It always has been used in hip-hop back in the day. And frequency and spirit have a lot in common when you study about it. There's so much in common about frequency and, and spirit. Um, and our ears, whoo, man. Uh, so even a dog, let me, let me give a dog for an example. You ever notice when a fire truck, the sirens, or ambulance, that dog starts crying <coughs> real loud because a dog can hear so far away. The dog's ears are sensitive. And that ambulance truck alone, that fire truck alone, them dogs cry out, don't they? And they cry real loud. Because it's hurting their ears. Same with us with music. Those signals being sent to our brain, it's very, very dangerous, y'all. And that's why I think about veterans a lot, people that came back from the war. See, some people be thinking these veterans are being funny, but they not, man, when they in public and they hear some veterans cannot be around loud stuff. It triggers their mindset. And that's why they don't do the 4th of July. They don't want to hear no firecrackers. They don't want to hear loud music. Their ears are very sensitive. And it may cause them, according to what they went through, it may cause them to harm somebody very bad. Maybe even kill them. You gotta, we gotta, we gotta realize everybody's not operating the same, you know. And and the loud music, think about it. Oh man, think about a rock concert. Mm -hmm. Heavy metal. Think about the drum beat, like we talked about. Now ask yourself this question again. Why is it everybody on one accord, even some be chanting, screaming, hollering, they all on the same right spirits? They 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 moving crazy, hollering. It's very demonic. And what does that do to your mind? Mm. See, the higher the frequency, the more the energy is transferred in so many ways. Even when you think about going to the doctor, think about x-rays. Why a lot of times they have to cover you up from those rays? Or even the sun, the, the sun rays from, from when you when you think about from above, up, up above, it, it'll increase your body temperature. So according to where you're going, if you're in the sun or if you listen to heavy metal, if, you, if you're at a concert, if you're at a Trap music, all this stuff plays a part of migraines, headaches. Low low, that low frequency will change the behavior of people. Health effects. Health effects, excuse me. But a lot of people don't think this. That's why uh, when I, all my years of producing, after a while, I have to get off, off and behind the computer and take off the headphones because if I don't, it'll mess me up. And I've been producing for years. And that's why I don't like loud music. Like my, ears, my ears are very sensitive. I don't like loud music. When you start thinking about um, the EM, 
the electromagnetic uh, waves. Um, if somebody don't know what that is, uh, electromagnetic, those waves, or if you want to call them EM, they are created as a result of vibration <laughs> between what? An electric field and a magnetic field. So now think about everything I'm saying. Now think about when people go to a concert. See, they just Beyonce dancing, her body. It's also the music. It ain't. It wasn't just Travis Scott on on there with the mic. It's the vibrations. It's the frequency. It's the beat. It's the low bass lines that will make your head just throbble. See, we have to realize what we're around. Once again, as I close, what we do, what we see. The other day I talked about what we see. The eye. Those signals that trans. Transfer everything to our brain. Now look at this. What you see and what you hear plays a big part on your behavior, your health. And I leave on that. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.